What's up guys, Sly Weasel here, and today we have a very special video. This is a video of my first survival world. So, when I first uh, got Minecraft, I had a crappy world where I messed around and did stuff, and I eventually got lost and deleted that one. But, um, this was my real first real survival world. Um... This is the first one I built. Obviously, I worked on this like for years, so I mean, it's not as crap as you'd think. Uh, I built this house. This house is um, that scary noise. This house I was really proud of when I built it. Under I don't understand these leaves, but uh, yeah, I did all my brewing up here. That's all my loot from the world, basically. <laughs> I had a lot of diamonds, a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, I didn't cheat to use c mods, commands, anything like that. This is purely vanilla, and yeah, you may notice I have 77 levels. That's because I just came from li literally the last thing I did in this world was kill the Ender Dragon. So I'm just gonna kill these cows. So I'm not lagging as much because I feel like these guys are lagging me. But um, just dump that in there. Uh, this is my first world, so that was my house. I had a box house for a long time and just like a year ago I built that and I built a rail system under there that just went like 20 blocks that way and I removed it uh, this was my security guard for sector 7 because I used to have uh, redstone lamps wired all around this area underground um, there's there's one left right there um, and that was like the control room all it had was a lever in it yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah, this was like the one sheep I found because I had trouble finding sheep. Uh, what do I have in here? Uh, this. So, I don't, you have to be a pretty old school Minecrafter to remember this, but back in the day, you needed like 70 or 60 levels to make an enchant. So, you needed this many books for a full enchant table. So, that is why I have this. I'm not just insane. Um, but then they reduced it down to 30, which made much more sense. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to fall down there. That's my mines. Uh, my strip mines. Uh, this is my tree farm. I basically just plant tons of oak trees so they would grow up, and that was preventing them from growing really big. But now if you watch my Minecraft tips and tricks, you will know that if you use birch trees, you can never go wrong. I had a rail system of here that I am actually was just working at removing, so it wouldn't look awful in the video. And this is when I thought it'd be cool if I built an all cobblestone. I like the lava. I don't like all the cobblestone. <laughs> and I actually used all these furnaces one day. I was mining for hours, and I came back and put like eight items in each furnace, and it was it was awesome. But uh, I had a lot of stuff here. I played for so many hours in this world. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, yeah. Uh, I actually don't have as much stuff as you think. <laughs> Um, I used a lot of it up. Look at all that lapis. Um, that's that. I'm just showing you because I would be curious. Um, yeah, that's everything. So this is, and this was all my stuff. So let's let's turn this all into. There we go. So that's uh, that's exactly how many diamonds I had, which some people think that's not that much, but some people think it is. Um, so I made this thing, this is like a map area, it's stupid. Uh, this is my bed. Ironically, I never used the bed in my house. I just placed this one here because this is where I was always was. I was always in there or around here. And I used to have a chicken farm, an automatic chicken farm, which cooked them as well, but it was super redstone intensive and lagged a lot, so I did it, removed it. Uh, this is my first mob farm. This is like four levels or something insane. Uh, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> this this was my AFK like area. Like this, <laughs> it's really bad, but that's that's I built it with like crap I had on me and I would AFK for this thing in the wheat field because back in the day villagers only traded uh, they only trade a certain amount of things and wheat was one of them. So if you got a villager with a wheat trade you had unlimited emeralds. So that's what this is. This is unlimited villager breeder. It doesn't work anymore because of 1.8. So that's that. This was my pride and joy. This is embarrassing. I wish you didn't see that. Uh, 
This is the iron farm. I actually just emptied it out before I started this video. Awkward. But if we yaunt down here, I was going to I, I plan. I still play in this world like this is my main survival world. I don't play it as often as I used to, but I plan to build more things over here. But I spent so long working on this farm. Let's just I built this. This is two layers. Uh just like it's one cell. 16 villagers in there. And because they have to be 100 blocks apart, let's see if I can pull off this clutch under pearl. No. And I'm down here. Okay, that was unfortunate and waste of time, frankly. And did I just kill myself? Nope. Okay, we're not going to go up there. <laughs> but basically, there's another one of these that I built way high into the sky. And see this butcher here? This butcher fell off the track of the minecarts when I was bringing them to this original one. This guy's been here for about three years. I've never traded with him. <laughs> no zombies get him because they can't see him because he just sits. Because this is a village to him. So that's where he sits. Um, but yeah, so there's another one up there. That was a pain in the butt to make. Oh my gosh, bringing 16 villagers up there. Ugh. It was, it was bad. Um, so let's go over here. What do we, wow, there's a lot of guys in there. Uh, this is my weed farm. Um, yeah, that's, it used to be super big, but I shrunk it down because I didn't need wheat anymore. Let's actually take the horse out for a yaunt. Did I ever settle this? Yeah, this guy settled up. It's actually, now that I remember, I have some horse armor in this chest here or here there it is there we go and am I gonna hit my head no uh, this was like when I first discovered parkour and that w yeah that was bad this horse is not doing it for me dude get out dude okay I'm gonna go put him away but this was like my first parkour map I ever built uh, <laughs> parkour map but it was just like I was just like, whoa, you can do that, and so, I don't know. Uh, this is a Jeb sheep. It's not working right now. I think it has something to do with Optifine. Uh, so we're going to take a quick nap here. Come on. Come on. Got stuff to show the people. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. Let's, let's sleep here. And, oh, oh, oh I want to show you. Uh back when I first started this world my mine shaft I made it far away from my house for some unknown reason um, I can't remember if I ever hooked it up properly um, basically I made this crappy bridge and started uh, I have rails here but I placed these rails when I didn't know that you could make powered rails I thought you just had to get like a really steep thing and then that would keep you going uh, anyway uh, <laughs> this is my mind shaft. Okay, I have a story. This 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 part comes with a story. So I was um, back in the day. I was mining for a few hours, and I came back here, and I had inventory full full of stuff, and a skeleton spawned. I kid you not. There, it was there. I was running up this bridge, and I jumped right as it shot me. I was just running to jump up to this ledge, and it shot me down the edge into that lava where I died and lost everything. After that, I, I closed my game, and I did not play Minecraft for about three months. I was so angry. It was, it was actually pretty funny now that I think about it, but... At the time, I was pretty pissed. I'm trying to remember what crappy way I had to get here. Okay, so... <laughs> it's way down here. Yeah. Let's go down this way. Um, should have worn feather falling <laughs> boots. I never made diamond armor ever in this world, even when I beat the ender dragon. I've never beat the wither in this world, which I plan to do. But uh, there's all this. Um... Come on. <laughs> so this is basically really far away. I was mine. I was digging a 
strip mine. And I came upon this, which is probably the rarest thing ever. Uh, right next to each other. Zombie spawner. And literally two blocks. Two blocks next to it was a skeleton spawner. So, obviously, I was like, oh my gosh, this is cool. But I didn't make... I had never made a mob grinder before. Uh, so, as you can see, I've used this a lot. Um, I am in the middle of setting... I don't even know. Is this is this level 30? I can't check. Uh, I emptied this twice, I think. I grinded so many levels here and smelted so many things. And this is where I spent, I'm going to say, about 30% of my time in my world. So, this was a big project I made. It brings the stuff up, it falls down, and then you punch them, they're one hit away. Uh, I would AFK here for hours on end. Uh, did I still have that AFK room? No, I used to have an iron door right here. I must have removed it for some reason. But it wasn't until later that I actually built this ladder. What do I have here? Oh. So just in chance. I'll just take one for the, for the lulls. Um... I don't know what else I have to show. I think we'll go back, though. Um, I literally built this, like, <laughs> five months ago. Because I was sick of, like, you saw how I got here. So, yeah, but basically I've been waiting to update to 1.8 before I enchant anything. So I've had these levels for, like, a year and a half. <laughs> I don't know. Ever since they announced 1.8 and that the enchanting was going to be different, I have uh, not been dying or trying not to die at least so that's why I try not to die with that uh, iron farm thing so this is way faster just to run on top of the world <laughs> it took me a while to figure out and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite parts next if I remember okay there's the torch um, there we go that's unfortunate let's go um okay we're here uh when i discovered villager trading i was like i need to get my hands on a villager and this was before the days of you know zombie villagers and stuff so i'm not going to go to it but about 800 blocks that way there is a village and in that village there were some villagers and i mine carted one with 16 rail pieces. So what I did is I placed 16 rails, pushed them along to the end, went back, broke them all, placed them again, and fought mobs the whole time because it took about two hours to bring him here. And then I had to do that again because I needed two villagers. Then I placed doors everywhere, got him to breed, and then this is where I eventually took him to make the iron golem farm. So yeah, there's been creeper incidents here, zombie incidences, but uh, they all lived by and by. Uh, I actually built this from a replica. I, these doors shouldn't be here, I know, and those stairs, but I was really proud of that, and that was a replica house too. That one was a replica. I never added the fences though, and these were just crappy ones that I needed doors, so, because doors is how they repopulate, but in 1.8 it's like grass now, so yeah, that's that. Um, this was my nether portal. That's not really interesting. Uh, how'd you escape? Let's, let's, let's get you out of there. Um, and I think that might be it. Let me just look over everything one last time. Uh, but maybe once I decide to fight the world, or wither in this world. Oh yeah, this, this thing. Cactus farm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I made that when I invented hoppers. And it's only got a stack. And it's been there for a while. Um, so yeah, this is my survival world. Uh, I can record videos occasionally in it if you guys would like. Um, I really like playing in it, as you can see. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. And be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. And yeah, tell me what you think of my survival world. Or tell me something about your survival world. Uh, in the comments down below. Alright. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.